the topic of BJT circuits is uh, one of the most important topic of analog circuits. It's a quite vast and diverse topic. It involves uh, many areas to cover such as uh, BJT characteristics, biasing, equivalent circuit, analysis, design, etc. So this uh, uh, we have divided into uh, three conceptual videos. Uh, the first one is on uh, modes of operation and characteristics and created here. The second is on uh, biasing and stabilization and the third uh, video is on equivalent circuits and models. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, then uh, covered up some uh, typical uh, problems uh, in these uh, uh, sub areas and uh, given uh, a detailed uh, uh, explanation and solution. Uh, it has uh, actually taken a good amount of time for us uh, to plan the conceptual videos. Now uh, we'll uh, see uh, the first part here uh, that uh, talks about the uh, talks about the modes of operation in uh, BJTs. What are the various uh, modes of operation and uh, BAT and its uh, characteristics. Uh, we uh, the the topics uh, included here are like first we'll uh, see the modes of operation of BAT and their areas of uh, applications, various configurations in which BATs are used uh, are given here input and output characteristics uh, for each configurations are explained uh, giving the special highlights and exhaustive uh, comparison for the three configurations are covered. The best configuration is uh, pointed out here and some of the useful transfer uh, ratings are also uh, briefly indicated. So we start with the video here. Uh, this uh, video is uh, on the BJT circuits uh, modes of operation. Uh, we know BJT is a three terminal device having inter base and collector. So there are three practical ways uh, of passing BJT called the modes of operation. Although uh, there have been possible four modes of operation and uh, so we have uh, listed all four modes of operation here and uh, out of these four modes uh, one mode is uh, not very popular uh, in applications. Like uh, active mode uh, is the mode where emitter base junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of the very important mode of operation when the transistor or BJT is being used uh, for the amplifier applications. The other mode is the saturation mode where both uh, emitter base and collector base junctions are forward biased. Uh, this is the mode which is uh, points applications uh, in switching applications of a transistor. The cutoff mode where both emitter base and collector base junctions are reverse biased. Uh, this is uh, points applications like in switching applications again uh, this uh, like an open switch in this mode. Now the inverted mode uh, is the inverse of the active mode and it's uh, not used practically because the transfer does not work efficiently in this uh, mode. Now uh, we'll see uh, these uh, modes and uh, 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 what are we have given a corresponding table here uh, for these uh, modes of operation that's uh, the mode and uh, emitter base junction what is status of collector base junction 
you can notice here uh, this is the active mode the first one here here we notice that emitter base junction is forward biased while the collector base junction is reverse biased since it is NPN transistor this N is given a negative supply terminal here and the P being positive so this is a forward bias similarly the collector is N here it is given a positive supply voltage and this is a negative supply given to base here which is P so uh, this uh, uh, junction is a reverse bias junction similarly you can see uh, the three uh, uh, three modes here how the transfer has been biased this is saturation mode and uh, this is a cutoff mode where both the junctions are reverse bias here both the junctions are forward biased and uh, this is a corresponding table uh, which gives uh, uh, when it is in the active mode and uh, when it is uh, saturation cutoff and the inverted mode now uh, uh, the basic uh, problem here is a BJT circuit configuration what have been the configuration configurations uh, uh, basically are the circuits where uh, we uh, put in uh, BJT for circuit applications what we observed here is uh, for any circuit application having two ports you need uh, four terminals two for input and two for output but here there are only three terminals so we take one terminal as a common terminal so common base uh, connection that means the base is taken as a common terminal and this is emitter and this is a collector so this is the configuration for the common, ga common base circuit here uh, the second configuration is for the common emitter here the emitter is taken as a common and uh, the input is between base and emitter and the output is between collector and emitter and the third is of uh, common collector configuration in com common collector configuration you can just notice here that collector is common here and uh, base uh, and collector are the inputs and emitter and collectors are being taken as the output terminals and uh, uh, one of the very important things uh, which you notice here although there are three uh, uh, type of configurations here but in all these configurations the emitter base junction is forward bias and collector base junction is reverse bias this is something very important here to note to you now uh, we'll see here the uh, common base uh, configuration uh, where the transistor uh, uh, base is uh, taken as common to both uh, input and output so we'll try to find out the DC current gain that is uh, set to be as an alpha this is IC over IV because IC is the output and this IE is the input uh, current so this comes to be alpha is 0.98 typically uh, it uh, indicates that IC is about 90%, 98% of the IE, thus uh, base current is about 2%. This is, this is the idea uh, we get from the current gain. And uh, the base current is uh, IE minus IC. IE minus IC, you can add alpha IE. So this is the expression for the base current. Now if you want to write AC current gain uh, alpha naught, alpha naught delta IC over delta E so this is both alpha and DC current gain and uh, AC current gain are nearly equal now the collector current is uh, uh, given by alpha IE plus ICBO ICBO is the uh, leakage current due to the uh, reverse bias uh, junction this is a leakage current from collector to base leakage when uh, emitter is open uh, here alpha and we do not uh, completely risk what we observe here in this uh, uh, part here since alpha and beta are being given here but they are not uh, completely specifying the characteristics of a BJT so really you need some more details uh, about the BJT 
and that is only possible through their characteristics. Here uh, we, did, we have shown here a input characteristics for BJT. Uh, a, a input characteristic is drawn between IE, the input current and the VB input voltage. Uh, so this characteristic you can find uh, looks like a forward uh, uh, diode characteristics. What we observe here beyond the beyond the knee voltage, uh, this uh, emitter current increases rapidly. And uh, the other part, what we notice here is for VCB collective brace junction as it increases, the curves are shifting upwards. That means this is for VCB of one volt. This is VCB of 5 volts and this is for 10 volts. That means curves are becoming uh, more vertical. That means their impedances, the input impedance is reducing drastically. Uh, curves are shifted. Uh, this Ri, the input resistance, uh, we can write here delta VB over delta I when VCB is a constant and the typical value for the input resistance is about 50 ohms. Uh, we can see the output characteristics uh, for the common base uh, configuration. Uh, we, we notice here the uh, three regions of operation uh, for this circuit. Uh, uh, that means uh, this is the cutoff region. The region indicated here is the saturation region and the region here is the this active region. So there are three regions of operations here. And um, for VCB equals zero, uh, uh, what we observe here, uh, even for VCB equals to zero, that the current is flowing. This a VCB is equal to zero, still the current is uh, flowing here. And there's something unique here. And uh, we can determine the value for or not delta VCB or delta IC for constant IE. These is curves are for different uh, I values. What we notice there R zero is very high because these uh, characters are more or less flat. They have uh, a very high uh, uh, impedance. Now uh, the we talk about now the common emitter characteristic uh, characteristics for the uh, uh, transistor. Again, uh, we'll see the uh, input characteristics. What we notice here, again, uh, below knee voltage, the IV is uh, very small here. And uh, IV increases with VB for constant uh, uh, VC. These are, uh, uh, these are the uh, values for VCE given here. For constant VC, the values are given. There's again like a doubt characteristics. But here, what we observe here, but uh, uh, the curves are not uh, as vertical, are not varying so fast uh, as in the case of uh, common base circuit. Uh, there's something more uh, which is uh, different from the common base here. His VC curves shift downward. Here they are shifting downward while they are shifting upward there in the earlier characteristics. And what we notice here is uh, the value for uh, Ri is delta V or delta IB and the typical value ranges from 600 ohms to 4000 ohms. Now we notice the, uh, see the output characteristics here. Uh, this character is between IC versus VC. This output, this is IC. This is IC versus VC characteristic for constant IV. Three regions again here are saturation, active region and the cutoff region. Uh, on active region IC is beta IV. Uh, small changes uh, in IV produce a large change in IC. Or not, well, nor not uh, the output resistance value is given by delta VC or delta IC for IV is equal to constant. Uh, here the output uh, resistance is uh, less than VC. Uh, common base circuit. Since the characteristics are not exactly flat, these characteristics are just rising with the uh, VC value and the typical value uh, values are about uh, like uh, 50 kilo ohms or so. Common collector uh, configuration, the similar to common um, 
uh, emitter type, so its uh, characteristics are not uh, given. Circuit is shown uh, here in the video for common collector configuration. Uh, what we notice here, current uh, amplification factor gamma here, the delta E over delta IB, and this comes out to be uh, gamma equals 1 over 1 minus alpha, this is equal to beta plus 1. This is the value for the uh, gamma. Now, if we give the, uh, see the, the comparison of the characteristics here the, for the three configurations, uh, what we observe here is uh, uh, that uh, input resistance here, common base uh, input resistance is very low, while uh, for common emitter it's a uh, low value and uh, it's a common collector, the input resistance is very high. So output resistance here, as in common base output resistance is very high, while the common interconfiguration, the it is high, like 10 kilo ohms, and it's uh, low, like 50 ohms. Current gain uh, for common base is less than 1, and it is common emitter is high, and it's all equally high in the common collector. Then uh, voltage uh, gain, uh, here is uh, small for common base uh, and high, about say 500 uh, typically for common emitter, so quite high and it's less than one for common character. Leakage current is uh, really very high for the common emitter and uh, common collector configurations. What we observe here, the typical applications if we see, what uh, we see here, typical applications, uh, uh, the common base circuit finds uh, more use usage or more application for high frequency applications. While common emitter configuration is most suited for the audio frequency applications and uh, so very commonly used. Common collector configurations finds applications for impedance matching because of its uh, very high input impedance. So uh, what we observe here is the best configuration is uh, of common emitter configurations uh, since it has a low input resistance, uh, high uh, the output resistance and so having high voltage gain, current gain as well as the power gain. This is one of the, these three are very important characteristics and the values for input and output resistance, the ratios are moderate and they are not like uh, with the other configurations. Now the last thing which we'll uh, talk about is BGT rating. IC max, the maximum collector current and PD max is uh, maximum dissipated power. PD max could be given and VC, VC into IC max is equal to VC max IC. Either uh, uh, current is maximum or the uh, current collector emitter voltage is maximum. Thermal runaway is uh, one very important uh, phenomenon which occurs uh, in the case of the transistor and the uh, the transistor operation or the transistor burnt up, burned off takes place. What happens is when the temperature of the collector base junction increases, the ICU also, the leakage current will increase. This increases ICU, IC, and when the IC increases, again the dissipation increases in the collector base uh, junction. And this further increases the temperature of the collector base junction. And this is a uh, feedback, positive feedback kind of uh, continuous cycle. And if this happens, the transistor gets damaged. Okay. Thank you, please.